this is getting hands-on with your coffee if ever you needed to get hands-on with your coffee. You guys know that we are very fond of our coffee. It all starts with the right beans. So what I actually have in here is Rave's signature blend. And we got some really big Roncilio grinders. Because the beans are grinded a little bit more coarse, we like to give it a good thumping in our tamping. If you know these Roncilio machines, you'd know that it's a priming machine. When you pull it down, it primes the grind, gives it some nice moisture. So about five seconds, the priming is taking place. Now we hit it with that pressure and you'd be able to see how beautiful that runs out. See that Cremo? Isn't that a thing of beauty? This is what you're after. No mouse holes in here, no ant holes, no nothing. It's nice and flat. We're going on the road this year and we want to find out if we can make our own espresso coffee on the road with the great fresh beans we get from our sponsors. So one of the devices we thought we'll give a go is this thing called a rock, which uh, supposedly makes an espresso that's worthwhile drinking. So let's see if we can get a good espresso out of this. And for those that didn't know, you need a few more things than just an espresso press, which effectively this is what it's about. Um, you will also need yourself a good tamper. And this is the one that comes with it. And uh, we have ourselves a little teensy weensy porta filter that comes with the rock. Here's our new tamper, special order. Seal is about the same as what you have with the plastic tamper, but definitely you can get a bit more pressure down. But as you can see, there's still quite a bit of grind at the edges. It's in nice and tight. Let's get ourselves some boiling water. Don't need a lot because you want to do an espresso. Arms down, fill it up with your water up to the point where you know you have the right fluids. And there's all kinds of instructions for this. I like to sort of do it halfway. Make sure you've got your cup underneath. Now's the moment of truth. Pre-infuse. So you lift your arms, Get the water running through and now it's gone through but you want the grounds to get wet so once it's nicely pre-infused we're going to lift it up again get some air in the cylinder i'm going to simulate what my lever press would have done which is bang it with pressure look at that creamy look at that guys see how nicely that runs through let's have a look and see if we've got a good crema on that. I think you can get a decent espresso out of that for sure. So let's see how the puck looks when we're done. And as you can see there, it looks like ants have made nests into this. That's not what you want. You really want a nice and tight puck. You can see how this runs through. That's something probably we can work on technique wise or grind wise. When you make an espresso on the road, we all know you have to have freshly roasted beans, but to get a really good espresso, you also have to grind those beans. And the grinding is where you get a challenge because while this might be a, quite an economical solution, you still have to come up with a consistent grind on your beans. Now there's a few options you can go with. I mean, a cowboy gave me one of these and I think if you've got 20 minutes of, uh, of time, you can, you can give this a go. But the challenge is gonna be, you still need a good grinder to make it work. So that's a conversation for another time. We're all about supporting communities, businesses, inspiring people. We really appreciate your support. Come and join our movement. Give us a thumbs up. We would love to bring you more of these.